morning, good morning. Today is Friday, December 4th, 2020. Coach Rich, poof, in the house, man. Today we got a good one. We're gonna be doing some pulls. We're gonna be doing some pushes. We're gonna be doing some swings. We're gonna be doing an alternating swing today as well. And then we'll be finishing off with some split squats and some hammer bicep curls. So today the big focus here is on the arms, specifically buys and tries, but we're gonna throw some uh, push-ups in there and some glutes in there as well. All right, so let's get this thing moving. Let's warm things up a little bit. Man, it's Friday. It's Friday. One full week in December, knocking it out. Let's take it up, let's go. Ha. Little cha-chas. I'm doing a little bigger cha-cha today. Come on. Ha. Feeling good. I'm ready to rock and roll, I'm ready to rock and roll. Ah, I had a little Friday special. I had a three shot cappuccino. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Man, I hope y'all can keep up with me this morning. Coach is gonna be going. You better keep up with me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I also got some good sleep. I usually get up super early. But every once in a while, if my body needs it, I stay in bed. <laughs> so I slept in a little bit. I usually get up around 4.30 ish. Usually between 4.30 and 5. Today, 6.30. Man, I feel fresh. I feel ready. Ha ha ha. Twist, come on. Ah, yes. Yeah. So our warmer upper is going to be a six minute running clock. With that six minute running clock, come down to the half knee. Give me some big reaches. Squeeze the downside glute. Big reach coming up. Big reach coming up. Six minute running clock. The ladder's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. There's going to be three exercises. So you can do one rep for each exercise. The next round, you're going to do two reps for each exercise. And then three, and then four, then five, and six. Once you get all the way to the six rep, you're going to restart the ladder back at one. So that's how the, the first starter is going to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, with a swing, a squat, and then a plank buildup. So one of each, two of each, three of each, and so on. Until you get to six reps for a total of six minutes. Swing, squat, plank buildup. That's going to get us going. And then from there, we're going to be going a little five rounder, some meat and taters kind of work with an alternating single arm swing, a push up, and then a bicep curl. First, give me a high plank position, walk it up into a down dog. I want you to hang out here for a minute. Drive one heel into the ground, and then you're gonna switch, drive the other heel into the ground. So you're gonna bend one knee, you're gonna straighten the other. Stretch out the hammies a little bit, and then walk it out. Give me a big step up and out. Sink the hips down. Move your butt side to side. So I'm in this kind of big split shape here. Hips are gonna go side to side. We're gonna turn one time to the right. We're gonna switch hands. We're gonna turn one time to the left. And then we're gonna switch legs. So foot is all the way up. So my foot's in line with my hands here. Hips are gonna move side to side. So move your butt left and right. Keeping your back leg as straight as possible. And then we're gonna turn one time to the left. One time to the right. And then from here, we're gonna step back. We're gonna step up and under. We're gonna hit a little pigeon. Little pigeon reaching across with one arm, reaching across towards the foot side with the other arm. So just trying to find where in that kind of back hip area does it feel stickiest. And that's where you wanna spend the most amount of time. So reaching at a diagonal, and then you're thinking sitting back into that back hip. So you're trying to stretch out that back hip capsule. Ah, and then lastly, just because we are going to be doing some swings, let's just make sure our spine is nice and warm. Round the spine, arch the spine, couple of cat cows. Ah. All right, so warmer upper, six minutes on the clock. It's going to go reps one all the way to six. We're going to be doing a, a swing, a squat, and then a plank buildup. So you got your medium weight, I would say. Bell starts on the ground, make a triangle with the bell in your feet. You're gonna hike it back. You're gonna hit one swing. You're gonna pop it up. You're gonna hit one squat. You're gonna set it down. You're gonna walk it out, get into a good high plank position. Come down to the forearms, come back up, walk back. 
Reset back right to your swing. This time two, pop it up, two squat, down, and then two plank buildups. Try to do all three of the exercises in sequence before you need to rest. So do all the rep, reps on one, take a rest. All the reps on two, take a rest. Try to go unbroken <clears throat> in between the sets and then if you need to take a breath, take your breath once you finish the, um, the prescribed amount of rep, reps for that set. Alrighty, ready? Ah, swing, squat, plank build up. Reps are going one up to six. Once you get to six, come back down to one. Six minutes on the clock. Six minutes on the clock here. Swing, squat, plank build up. Start with one rep. Start with one rep. Here we go. Ready, ready? One swing. Pop it up. One squat. Set it down. Walk it out. One plank build up. Coming down. Coming up, reset. Take a second, get your positioning. Two swing. Pop it up. Two squat. Set it down. Two plank build up. Making sure to alternate which arm that you're coming up and down with. Reset. All right, heart rate's coming up a little bit. Three. Three swing. Pop it up. Catch it. Three squat. Set it down. Three plank build up. On that plank build up, core nice and tight. Quads are tight, abs are tight. Pushing through the ground. Minimal amount of hip and shoulder rotation. So thinking about trying to stay as square as possible. All right, on our swings, let's be nice and snappy with our quads. So now we're in fours. Snap to the quads. Pop it up. Good squat here, elbows collapse down. Big breath in, core tight. Yes, and then four plank build-ups. One, two, three, four. Ah, feeling good, feeling good. And then we're gonna go up to five. So one, all the way up to six, I'm on fives here. Let's think about squeezing our glutes at the top of the rep. Popping it up, five good squats. On those squats, chests are up, abs are tight. Posture is nice and vertical on these squats. If you're not collapsing your upper spine, you're thinking about squatting right between your legs. Good stuff, good stuff. On these buildups, let's stay nice and tight. Nice and tight on these, we're square. Everything is nice and level. We're coming up to one hand, coming down. Coming up to the other hand, coming down. Staying square, engaging all those muscle groups. Quads, glutes, abs. All right, now I'm on sixes. This is good. We're on our sixes. And then once you finish your sixes, we'll come back down. Coming back down. So I'm gonna go six here. Now on this set, I'm gonna think about that exhale as that bell starts coming away from my body. So, so everything is it's gonna be the same. Forceful exhale as that bell starts moving away from my thighs. All right, on my squat, I wanna think nice big breath in at the top. Squatting right between my legs. I've got even weight between the balls of my feet and my heels. I'm not trying to get too butt out back here, right? I'm trying to stay a little taller 
I'm just trying to come straight down into my squat. Good stuff, good stuff. And then with our buildups, we're staying tight to the core. So that's the idea in these buildups. They're gonna, they're gonna build up in intensity, but we gotta stay engaged through our core. So locking in tight. Quads are squeezing. My glutes are squeezing. I'm bracing my core. Good. Once you get all the way to six, you're gonna restart back at the bottom. So I made it up to six. Now I'm gonna start back down to one. Nice and easy. One good swing, power through. Pop it up. One squat. Set it down and a plank buildup. On these buildups, I want you to notice my hips are not gonna be rocking too much from side to side. So I'm gonna do that thing where I kind of imagine there's a dinner plate resting on my butt a little bit, my low back. And I want to make sure that it's not doing a, a sloshing motion from side to side. So I'm going to keep that thing nice and square. Twos. All right, let's put it all together now. Snap to the quads, squeeze the glutes, hard exhale. All right, so powerful. And then our squats again, nice and tall, working on creating good motion at the bottom of the squat. We're not losing position. Remember, this is just our warm up here. So, in our warm up, <clears throat> we're always going to go and err on the side of being a little bit more technically sound than going a little bit too hard. Just because we want to make sure that our movements are prepped up for the rest of this workout. Alrighty, guys, finish up with set you're on, and we're going to move on. So, your heart rate should be elevated. You should feel a little bit warmer right now. And perfect time to get into our main piece. So, our main piece today, we're gonna to be doing an alternating single arm swing. So we've done a bunch of one arm swings. We've done a bunch of two arm swings. Today what we're gonna to try to do is an alternating arm swing. So when you do the alternating arm swing, the trick is you're gonna switch hands at the top, not at the bottom. So you're going to be nice and powerful through your swing, and then once the bell gets nice and high, you're going to be switching hands at the top of the rep. These are going to be short sets, they're only 20 seconds long for the swing, then we're going to be doing a push up right after that for only 15 seconds, and then we're going to be doing a curl for quite a bit longer for 30 seconds. Alright, so it's like the first two are a little bit of a sprint, the last one a little bit longer. So with the alternating swing, I'm going to hinge back, I'm going to snap it through. And my catch and switch up at the top of the rep. <clears throat> if you don't feel comfortable with the switch, what you're just gonna do is you're just gonna go one arm, the next round through, switch arms and use the other arm. Because this is a five rounder, you'll go right, left, right, left. And then in the last round, whatever round you wanna do, throw in one set of two hand swings. Then you'll end up even. Two sets on the right, two sets on the left, and then a one, two hand even swing. Cool? Push-ups are gonna be a classic push-up shape. You guys know these push-ups. Arms are coming in about 45 degrees. Lead with your chest. Nice and smooth. It's only 15 reps, 15 seconds. So 15 seconds, you're thinking, you should be able to hit around eight to 10 reps, okay? And then bicep curls. You guys know your bicep curls. Find a good amount of weight. Palms are gonna start classic at the side. Slight rotation as you come up. Good squeeze at the top of the rep. All right, just a classic curl. Nothing fancy in that one. Alternating swing, push up, and then a little bicep curl. Five rounds. Let's get this thing set. Five rounds. 20 seconds for the swing, 15 seconds for the push up, 30 seconds for the bicep curl. We're gonna start with the alternating arm swing. On the clock in 10. Let's be aggressive here, let's be snappy. Let's be powerful. Two, one, here we go. Hike it through, snap and switch up at the top. Get that belt to float. Sit back into the heels on the way down. Core stays tight. Bell stays nice and high through the hip. 
Good, set that down. We're coming down into our push-up. Arms at 45s. Remember, you're thinking, rip the paper in half as you lower down. Ready, ready? Two, one, here we go. Oh yeah, easy, easy, easy. And then our last one, we're gonna hit that bicep curl. <clears throat> With the bicep curl, this is gonna be a little bit of a longer set, right? So make sure you have the right amount of weight. Rotate the palms, good squeeze at the top of the rep. excited. All right, take a minute here. What should I say? Take 30. All right, one round down. So this first round, that shouldn't have felt like a whole lot, but now you should kind of know, all right, I need to ratchet up my intensity a little bit, or I need to pick up a little bit of a heavier weight. Alternating arm swing. Woo! Two, one. Here we go. Snappy. Explosive. Sit back into the heels. Keep the core tight. Snap to the quads. Squeeze the glutes. Hard exhale at the top. Ah. Catch a little breath. So it's kind of like the swing and the push-up, that's like a little bit of a sprint. The curl's not too bad, and then you get a nice recovery. So go hard, one more right here. Two, one, here we go. Ah, I got a little aggressive on that that one. All 15. 15 reps in 15 seconds. <laughs> That's probably a bad idea. All right, grab your weights, we got curls. Good squeeze up at the top, here we go. Ah, if you get a little fatigued, throw a single arm curl in there now and then. That'll kind of let you recover a little bit. So if you get fatigued doing the double curl, throw a double curl in, followed by a single curl on each arm. If it feels fine, just keep Cracking away in those doubles. Good squeeze at the top of the rep. Good, nice little 30 second rest. So that's the idea here. We're gonna go hard, and then we're gonna recover. We're gonna go hard, and then we're gonna recover. So use this whole 30, so 30 seconds to let your heart rate come down a little bit, <clears throat> to get your, your, your breath under control, to get your mind focused. So when you hit these work sets, your intensity is high. That's the goal. Ready, ready? One, here we go. Alternating. Nice and powerful through the lower body. Core nice and tight. Good, good. Coming down to your push-up. Coming down to your push-up. If you have that goal number in mind, hit those targets. Hit those targets. Two, one, here we go. Hit those targets. up. That's feeling good. Love it. Curlies. Curlies. Chest up. Good posture. Core tight. Here we go. Focusing on a good squeeze at the top of the rep. So 
So notice I'm kind of keeping my elbows back a little bit. I'm almost turning this into a little bit of a, what's called a drag curl. So instead of my elbows coming out in front of me, I'm keeping them kind of in a little bit closer. A little bit of a different feel. Both are fine. All right guys, that was three rounds. That was three, we're gonna do two more. So with the final two rounds, let's think about really pushing ourselves here a little bit. Being aggressive on our swings. Let's think about how tight you can squeeze your booty at the top of that swing. So really focus on the glutes right here. Two, one, here we go. Powering through. Focus on the glutes. You guys know I like my swings, but that's for good reason. It's a fantastic exercise. It's awesome for our heart. It's great for our glutes and our butt. And then if you do it right, you're gonna notice a lot of other muscle groups turning on. Your legs, your core, how you hold your posture. Push up, let's go. Come on. Ah, those feel good. Curls coming up. Curls coming up. Remember, little sprint, little recover. Little sprint, little recover. Finish the sprint, come on. Two, one, ah! Good squeeze at the top of the rep. You don't gotta be too aggressive with your grip on these. If anything, try to under grip a little bit on the curl. That's gonna accentuate your bicep just a little bit more. When you grip it a little tighter, like the other things we do, you're gonna to start to tie in a little bit more shoulder. But a loose grip, that's gonna really force you <clears throat> to draw that weight up using the bicep. Loose grip, good squeeze up at the top. Woo! All right guys, one more round. On the swing, let's put it all together. Snap through the legs, squeeze the glutes, hard exhale. Brace that core. Nice high transition point at the top with the belt. Let's go hard, let's be smart, let's be powerful. Come on, it's Friday, let's go. You can hear my exhale as that bell starts moving away. And as I finish my exhale, I'm contracting my core. So when that bell is nice and high, it's out here. My abs are braced really tight, I'm standing tall. Last round of push-ups, let's go nuts right here, come on. Go after this thing. Ah, feels good. 15 seconds is nothing. Easy peasy. Let's finish his bicep curl here. Let's finish his bicep curl here. Nice tall posture. Good squeeze at the top of the rep. Loose grip on the bell, kettlebell or dumbbell. Or band. So whatever tool you're using, lighten up on that grip. Focus on the squeeze at the top of the rep. All right, good stuff guys, good stuff. Coming up next, coming up next, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a single arm row, followed by two tricep exercises. So we're gonna be doing a tricep superset <clears throat> after a single arm row. Single arm rows, you can use a bench, you can use a coffee table or a couch if you wanted to set up using some support. Just make sure if you're using this, you get your chest over the ground. You shouldn't be up in this position here. You gotta get your body so it's over the ground. If you're not using anything to post off of, you're gonna go back to that forearm, into the thigh. Back foot either toed out, or you can square it around. Either way, I want you to rely on this forearm 
to give you a little bit more stability and a good kind of rock so you can push off of. Single arm rows, 25 seconds on one, 25 seconds on the other. And then we're gonna get into our core here. So the first one is a Sphinx press. So we worked the Sphinx press uh, maybe a handful of weeks ago. The Sphinx press, you're gonna set up like you're gonna do like a traditional forearm plank. And then from here, going up at the same time, I'm gonna drive up under the heels of my palms and then come back. Drive up, come back. If that's too difficult, what you're gonna do is you're gonna set your knees on the ground, all right, and elevate like that. Staying nice and tight. If you didn't want to do it from that position, you could also use something to elevate your arms up onto to make it a little bit easier as well. Okay? So it's your choice. Right when we're done with Sphinx press, we're gonna go into what's called a French press. So the French press, you're gonna be sit, you're gonna be seated. I'll demo from this side here. You're gonna take your weight <coughs> over the top of your head. So it's gonna be like this. You're gonna fold at your elbow, and then drive straight up. Fold at the elbow, drive straight up. <coughs> On that exercise, just make sure you're doing a good job of keeping your elbows kind of tucked in. All right, so that you can really accentuate the back of the arm, the tricep. Right arm row, left arm row, Sphinx press, French press. Four exercises, 25 seconds per exercises. Four rounds here, y'all, four rounds. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. We're gonna start with the single arm row. Single arm row. All right. So I'm pulling with my right arm here. My right foot's back. Ready, ready? I'm pulling my elbow back from my hip. Just like my push-up, my arm is not flush by my side. So as I row, I have a little bit of daylight between my arm and the side of my body. And I'm driving my elbow back from my hip. I'm not coming up this way. I'm going back, back. Good, we're gonna switch sides. Gonna switch sides. <clears throat> so I'm gonna pull from my left here. All right, so my left foot's gonna be back. My back is flat. I'm pulling my elbow back towards my hip. My chest is up. My abs are tight. My upper spine is parallel with the floor. That's my goal. So I can really use my back muscles the way I want to. just like any of those pulling motions, think about using your shoulder blades. Feel your shoulder blades moving towards your spine. All right, and then we're gonna go with our Sphinx press. So Sphinx press, set up as if you were to do a plank. And then from here, we're gonna drive up under the heels of our palms, come down. Drive up under the heels of our palms, come down. I want you to do a good job of bracing your core, squeezing your triceps at the top of the rep. Remember, if you need to, you're gonna rest your knees onto the ground and do it from this position here, but don't lose your core. Keep that core locked in tight. All right, lastly, we're gonna do our French press. <clears throat> With our French press, we're gonna be sitting nice and tall. We got the bell coming right down the back of our head. Get a good stretch, good lockout at the top. Keep those elbows tucked in. Make sure you maintain a good grip on your weight. I don't want anyone dropping this weight on their head. That'd be awful. Ah, well, this is kind of tough. All right, good stuff, guys. So that was one round. We're gonna take 30 here. Then we're gonna do it again. Plenty of rest. My main goal for you guys is that you can use weights that are actually gonna challenge you. And if our tempo is too quick, you're never gonna be able to recover long enough to use heavy enough weights to actually change your muscle. So that's the reason we're kind of throwing these little bit of a longer 
longer rests in. Now, just so you kind of know where we're going, we're gonna be using this concept of building some strength and some lean muscle over the winter here. You know, we're fortunate enough to be in Chicago where, you know, <clears throat> we're not showing as much skin as normal. That's okay. So this is a great time to put on some muscle. Then as the spring starts coming up, then we'll really start going much harder in terms of conditioning, cardio output, um, <clears throat> focusing on leaning out a little bit more. <clears throat> but you need both, okay? Do not discredit your strength work. This is the foundation of your metabolism. You wanna have a nice high metabolism? Yes. You wanna be able to enjoy the food? Okay, you gotta have some muscle on your bones. You got no muscle on your bones, you're gonna be eating like a little rabbit. No one wants to eat like that. No, you wanna enjoy the things. So build up some lean muscle, ramp up your metabolism, look really good, right? All that good stuff. Sphinx press, here we go. I'm driving hard through the heel, core staying tight. Just like our plank buildup, I'm gonna tighten up my quads. I'm gonna tighten up my glutes. I'm gonna keep my abs braced. I wanna to try to keep one straight line from the back of my head down towards my heels. So I don't want my butt sticking up in the air. Ah, you wanna be staying nice and tight with those. French press coming up. Let's take a seat. Select your weight. Nice posture here. Keep the elbows tucked in nice and close. Locking out hard at the top. Elbows tucked in close. Lock out hard at the top. Notice, I'm coming down slowly. I'm focusing on really accentuating the eccentric portion of this exercise. Ah, that's tough. Woo! All right, two rounds down, y'all. Two rounds down, two to go. We're feeling good. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ah, going back to our row. Going back to our row. So keeping a little bit of daylight between your side and your arm. Elbow going back towards the hip. Chest directly over the top of the ground. Let's go. Smooth it out. Think about your shoulder moving towards your spine. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, shake it out. Let's do that same thing on the other side. Backs are flat, core is tight. Come on, we're feeling good. Arm coming out at a little bit of an angle. Ready, ready? Let's go. Think about using your back muscles here, your lats, your rhomboids, those lower traps. You might feel a little bit here in your bicep, but I don't want a lot in your bicep. This is a back exercise. So we want the muscles that support your posture. Those are the muscles we're focusing on right here. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Coming down to the ground, Sphinx press. Let's get tight on these. Let's lock in. Let's lock in. Let's engage our core. Let's drive hard to the heels of our palms. Ready, ready. Let's go. Ha! Elbows staying nice and close. Keep it tight. If you can't get it from this position, drop to the knees. But keep working. Keep working. I don't want anyone giving up on these. Keep going hard. Feel your core bracing. If you need to slow down a little bit, that's okay. But keep going. And last one here, guys. Little French press. I'm gonna go a little lighter in this set. I'm gonna go a little lighter. That's okay, if you need to go lighter, that's fine. Focus on your technique, focus on your form. Think about the muscles that you're trying to work. Think about the back of your arm. Think about keeping your elbows in close together. 
Oh man, even with this lighter weight, it still burns like crazy. Ah. Sit tall, engage your core. Good stuff. All right, man, we're crushing, we're crushing. Let's get one more round here. Focus in on that pull. All right, thinking about using the back muscles, bracing the core. Good posture through your spine, no round, no roundness through your upper back. So nothing like this. Flatten that spine out. Lift your chest up when you get to the bottom of that row position. So I'm gonna plant my hand then from here. I'm gonna try to lift my chest up as best I can. And then we're gonna pull hard. Elbow coming back for the hip. Nice and smooth. There we go. Think about pulling with your back. So I'm thinking about these muscles back here, like back behind my right shoulder, my right armpit. Those are the muscle groups I'm trying to focus on. Yeah. Notice I'm not pulling too high either. So when I pull, I don't want to get to the point where the front of my shoulder starts doing this thing. All right, too much of that. You're gonna just rip up the front of that joint. That's no fun. No, we want healthy shoulders. So draw that thing back as far as it'll go without the front of your shoulder dumping forward. So really thinking about keeping your chest up nice and tall, feeling your shoulder blade move towards the spine. Bracing your core. You're nice and stable. Smooth reps here, smooth reps. Woo! Great job, guys, great job. Sinks press coming back down to the ground. <clears throat> We're almost there, come on. Ah, we got this, we got a French press, and then we got a nice little finish today. Ready, ready? Here we go. Driving hard through the heels of the palms. Come back down. Good squeeze to the back of the arm. Lock out, come back down. Lock out, come back down. Tight. Ha. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Good stuff, guys, good stuff. French press, last thing we're doing for our triceps. So find the right amount of weight to really finish this muscle group out, because after this we're gonna be going bicep. Ready, ready? Keep those elbows in tight. Get a big stretch at the bottom of the motion. So look how low I'm getting. I'm really stretching as I'm letting this weight come down. I'm keeping my elbows in close together. And I'm trying to lock out hard at the top of the rep. <laughs> Woo! Good stuff, guys, good stuff. All right, for the finish, we're gonna be doing two things. We're gonna be doing a split squat with a hammer curl, and then we're gonna be doing a long lever plank. We're gonna do a split squat with a hammer curl on the opposite leg, and then we're gonna be doing what's called an alternating leg sit up here. So I'm gonna switch this thing out. Don't want that, let me get my big mat here. All right. Got this little, little guy right here. Make it nice and comfy for me. All right, I'm a comfort guy. All right, so you're gonna find a weight that you can do a, a hammer curl with. And we're gonna be doing doubles. So we're gonna start with the left leg in front in our split squat position. So remember our split squat position is gonna be like so. So I'll turn this way for a second. So you wanna notice at the bottom of my split squat, we're trying to get more or less 90 degree angles between this hamstring and this calf, and then this hamstring and this calf. Once we're in that position, that's where you wanna stay. And then from here, you're gonna be driving up. You're not moving your legs. Hammer curl, kiss the knee. Hammer curl, kiss the knee. Right, so you're gonna keep your palms facing each other. You go straight down, you go straight up with a little hammer curl action. This is actually a pretty tough move, all right? After we do one side, you're gonna come down to your mat and we're gonna be doing that long lever plank. So the long lever plank, it's kind of how it sounds, meaning you're gonna really stretch your body out. So I'll demo from this side. I wanna try to get 
as long as I can. So notice my feet are really far behind myself. My legs are really far back. I wanna see how far I can stretch that plank out without losing position in my lower back. So brace your core really tight. Get as long as possible. We're gonna come back for the opposite leg with the split uh, squat hammer curl. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come back down to the mat and we're gonna do a little alternating leg rolling sit up. So what that means is you're gonna start like this, you're gonna come straight up. It's similar to our sprinter sit up, except there's no twist. There's no twist. If you wanna make this a little harder, just go hands behind your head. And you're gonna keep one leg out as you tuck one leg in. So no twisting on this one today. It's just straight in alternating leg, either going hands behind the head or throwing the hands over the top. Your choice. Four exercises, four rounds. Let's have some fun, let's work hard. Oh yeah. Four exercises, four rounds. All right. They're only 20 seconds per round, so let's work. Hammer curl, split squat on the clock. Seven seconds and we're on. I'm gonna go left foot in the front. Working on weak spots, let's go. One, two. Smooth it out. Once you got it down, I want you to speed up. These are short sets. Match my tempo at least. If you can go faster, go faster, but at least try to go at my speed. Down to the ground. Long lever plank. Remember on these, we're trying to stretch it out. Stretch it out. How long can you get? And then lock it in. If you feel like you've gone too far, scooch it back in a little bit. Long, longest plank that you can hold. All right. Seven seconds, hold tight, come on. Breathe and squeeze. Breathe and squeeze. Woo, good, back up. Now we're gonna go opposite leg in front. So I did my left foot in my first set. The second set, right leg. Here we go. Smooth it out. Good squeeze at the top. You get to use your legs a little bit with that hammer. Thinking about dropping that back knee straight to the ground. Good. That got my legs a little bit, that was fun. All right, alternating leg sit up here, guys. Alternating leg sit up. Roll yourself up. Try to drive your chest all the way up and in to your thigh. If using your arms like this is too easy, you know what to do. Put them behind your head. Whoa. Roll yourself up, roll yourself back down. Woo! All right, one set done. We're gonna do three more of those. Ah, how we doing? Ah. Ah, ha, ha. All right, split squats. If your weight felt a little easy, you know what to do, go up. Find the right amount of resistance. And let's work hard, let's have some fun. Ready? Come on. Woo! Woo! Long lever plank, stretch it out, get tight. Stretch it out, get tight, come on. Come on. Long, 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 squeeze. Get your quads tight, get your butt tight, get your abs tight. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Oh, woo, oh yeah. Feel that burn, that's good, that's what you want. Almost there. Nice, nice, back up, back up. Split squat, right leg in front, posture, ready? Dropping that back knee straight to the ground. Squeezing your backside glute at the top. Ah. 
Ah. Ah. Ah. This is good, this is good. Roll up. Ah. Ah. Use your abs, come on. Ah. If that's too easy, hands behind the head. Ah. Ah. We're almost there, come on. Ah. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, y'all. Two down. Two down, two to go. Two down, two to go. Ah, man. Feeling good. Sometimes exercise, it's really all about that mental, that mental spot. How it makes you feel. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel capable. Do anything. That's one thing I would preach to my athletes all the time. I put them through really hard, grueling workouts. Not all the time, but my message would be, I'm pushing you so hard right now that when it gets time to play an actual game, you know in your head you have trained so much harder than that game. And what that does is, it shifts your mindset. So now you're late in the game. Yeah, you're, you're, you're going hard, you're fatigued. But you can think back and be like, you know what? I've actually trained and worked out way harder than this. I know I have this many more levels left in the tank. And you can really kind of dig deep and push even harder. And good training that applies to life. Because let's face it, physically you're gonna be working, but it's being able to mentally get through it. And then you apply those things. Like, you know what? I've actually pushed myself really hard in that workout this week. I can handle this. I can handle that. And your capacity to take on new things and new stresses and how you deal with them improves. Just with your little test in the gym. Let's go, let's go, roll ups. Ha! Ah, so push yourself today. Push yourself today and think about how hard you're working. Think about not just the physical strain, but where you have to go mentally to keep pushing yourself. Come on, five seconds. Ah. Well, my mentors would say, train the mind, the body will follow. Train the mind, the body will follow. Rings true. Last round, guys, come on. Let's finish this thing, let's go. Let's go. If you got another level, take it there now, let's go. Let's squat, posture, core tight, work, come on. Ah, yes, long plank, long plank, come on. Long plank, lock in, get tight, work. Stretch yourselves, literally. Stretch and squeeze. Ah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, we're almost there. How tight can you get your abs? Come on, two. One, woo, woo. Let's go, finish these split squats right here. Ready? Almost there. <laughs> Five seconds, push. Come on. Ah, last one. Alternating leg roll-ups. Alternating leg roll-ups. Let's work. Huh. Roll yourself up, roll yourself down, squeeze your core. Boof, boof, boof. High five.
fives, y'all. All right, let's do a quick flippy. I wanna do a, a couple breaths here from the belly. Some alligator breathing. After a couple good breaths, where you're feeling that breath coming down into your belly, a couple cobra press ups. Take your arms, slide them outside your shoulders and your face. Breathe into your belly first. Push to the heel of your palm. Exhale, come down. After a couple of those, counter that move with a little child's pose, just kind of sitting back. Into a little cat cow. And then from our cat cow, let's go into our little half kneeling flow. Just going out, down, open. Out, down, open. Oh, good stuff today, guys.